So we're still talking about how to work with text and manipulate text in R using the string R package, comes with the tidyverse packages. I've got a few more videos on this. You don't need to watch those other videos to get value out of this one, but I will put a link on the screen that can take you to a playlist that has all of them in it. Let's have a look at what we want to accomplish today. Remember, we're working with text and we're going to use the string replace all function. This is a function that comes with string R. And what it is that we want to accomplish is, you guys know the Star Wars uh, data set. You've got this data on your computer. You can replicate what I'm doing at home. Best way to learn. Star Wars data set here, we've got the name over here. And if we scroll along a little bit, so we've got species and species are humans, droids, humans, droids. We want to create a table that has the names and then changes the text from uh, human to homo sapien, from droids to automaton. There are lots of ways of changing and recoding your data. But this is a nice example of how to use string R replace all. And, you know, so, so don't worry about the fact that there's other ways to do this. You, you're learning. Okay, super duper. Uh, let's jump into this. My name is Greg Martin. This is going to be easy. You're going to love it. Stick with me. Boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Okay, we've already viewed the Star Wars. We're not going to do that again. Uh, obviously, we call and load the Tidyverse. I also load GT Extra, so we make nice little tables like the one that you're seeing below me at the moment. And let's look at the code to do what we want to do. We start off with the Star Wars data set. We're basically just selecting here name and species, just so we've got a nice little table with just what we want. We mutate, and we're going to change the species variable here. And we're going to say string replace all, string replace all. That's the function we're learning about today, open brackets. And here are the arguments, right? First of all, the first argument is what variable you want to look at. So in this case, species. And the second argument is, what do you want to change? I'm changing more than one thing here. So in this data set, there will be other species names that won't be changed. It's only going to change these things. And it's a concatenation of human to homo sapien, droid to automaton. And then typing that into this code at the bottom here is just the GT extra code to make the table look good. I'm not going to get into that today, but table head makes a nice header, column aligned, puts everything to the left, GT theme, 538, I like that theme. Right, I hope you found this useful. There's going to be a link on the screen right now that will take you to the next video in this series. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, share, etc., etc. Don't have change, don't do drugs, always do your best. Boom shakalaka, see you soon, bye.